let's say we're coming up here on the fence we're flying along the fence and then there's a tree and then we want to hop to the other side of the fence oh look at that boom kind of kind of landed it that was pretty good hey everybody welcome back to rc with adam my name is adam and welcome to yet another fpv tutorial video in this video what i want to talk about is something pretty simple but i think it's worth focusing on just by itself which is a forward 360 roll and that is when we have our quadcopter here we're flying forward and then we want to actually like maintain our forward momentum we roll take the power out once we get to the apex of the roll because we're pointed down now and then we continue our roll um, and then we we bring the power back as we as we come back to level on our quadcopter and it's really important to take the power out at the top of the roll and then to bring it back in nice and smooth so that way we have a uh, a nice smooth forward moving roll and we're using the quads momentum to carry us forward so it's not like we're flying forward and then we like stop and like do a big old roll or something so let me show you that right now let's hop into um Liftoff flight simulator. Uh, here's our setup right here. I'm using the Ladrib Skyliner. These are my rates just for your reference. And this is pretty much the same setup we've had for this entire flight tutorial series. So uh, let's let's get started here. And so let me just demonstrate what kind of what I'm talking about. Again, like I said, it's pretty simple, um, but we're gonna be flying forward here and then we give it a little bit of throttle. We take the throttle out and we roll and then we're gonna carry on kind of the same line that we were flying um, and I know it, it all happens kind of fast so uh, feel free to um, if you're watching this on YouTube you can slow it down by hitting the little uh, settings button and then changing the playback speed and also by the way one more thing is my camera tilt uh, is set to 30 degrees so uh, a pretty good like middle ground uh, camera tilt here so uh, let's try that again. So we're flying forward and then we're going to increase the throttle. A um, well, let me just exaggerate it because this let's exaggerate it first. So uh, we're going to fly forward, increase the throttle, take out the throttle as we roll and then bring the throttle back as we complete the roll. And it might be a good idea to practice this, you know, higher up in the air. Um, but it's hard, it's a little hard to because you don't have as much, have as much of a reference for how close you are to the ground and that sort of thing. Now, a couple variations that you could do, you could change how fast you roll and how high up you, how much throttle you want to give it before you roll. So like, for example, if we're flying along here, you could like give it a lot of throttle and then do like a very slow roll and then kind of carry on. But that you can see that was like sloppy and messy. You wouldn't really want to go up that high. And as far as the roll, um, I would say a coordinated roll probably looks best where we're using our yaw and our roll stick together. Um, but you could change it up. You could you could do like just roll, and then you get this you get this kind of a, kind of a weird perspective where you're like looking down more, you know, briefly because of the way the quadcopter. Uh, let's get this view. The way the quadcopter is tilted in flight. So if we were to do that, it might look like that. Ooh, it's kind of—it's hard to fly uh, from this view, but let's let's try that again. So, like this, and then we give it a little bit of throttle. We take the throttle out, do the roll, yeah, something like that. I don't know if you can really get much out of that view, but um, and you could do a fast roll. Generally, like the closer to the ground you are, the faster you want to roll. So you might want to pop up a little bit, do your roll, and then bring the throttle back. That wasn't very smooth. And these are uh, these are pretty low rates, so probably not the best for that type of really fast, super close to the ground roll uh, roll movements. But you could do it like that. Um, very similar to the the forward 360 spin that we talked about earlier. Now, one thing that I really like about this maneuver is it's really cool for like transitioning around objects. So, like I'm going along this fence, I could do like this forward roll thing and then end up on the other side of the fence. So I think that looks really cool. Um, let's get up here. That's a long fence, my goodness. So let's say I'm flying along the fence here and we're actually on a hill, so that's a little trickier, but I kind of do that thing. I do that thing. <laughs> I, 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 I increase the throttle, I roll to the other side, and I'm actually, in that case, in this case, you do actually have to aim your quadcopter, quadcopter a little bit more, so it's not just 
like just doing a straight up roll and, and ending up exactly where you are, we're actually kind of aiming the quadcopter to end up on the other side of the fence. So like, here's a good example. So like that tree's coming up. So I might roll to the other side. Whoa, I just totally smashed into that fence. Let's try that again. But that's why we're on a simulator. So we don't smash our quadcopter until we're pretty good at the trick. So coming up on this fence, let's say I want to roll to the other side and that was kind of sloppy, but you get the idea. So that could be really cool. Like you're coming up on an object and it's like, oh no, I don't want to hit the, I don't want to hit that tree. Bam, roll to the other side. And just like that. And then, um, you know, you can make the trick look different depending on how much uh, yaw and how much roll you put in. So like how coordinated of a roll it is, or you could almost add like a, a yaw spin aspect to it. You know, if we try this again, we could, we could come up on here and then do like a, a more of a, I don't know, just more yaw, just whatever you think looks good. It's, it's really kind of style at that point. You can also, of course, you can also, um, you can also vary the, like the speed that you roll. So you might start out really fast and then slow down in the middle and then crash like that. And then, uh, let's try that again. So we start out fast, slow down and then speed back up. So kind of a little like bounce, a speed bounce kind of thing, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and then, uh, like, like I talked about in another video about flying smoothly, um, you know, the smoother you get this, the better it's going to sort of look if you're recording this on a GoPro. So you might not want to do it super low to the ground where you have to do it really fast, because if you have to do it really fast, then it might just look like a big blur and you don't actually get to see the, the move that's, that's happening. But there you go, folks. That is what I would call a forward 360 roll. You can see how it can be. Uh, a really cool trick on its own, but also useful to combine with other tricks and also just as a maneuver to get around objects in kind of a neat, creative way. And of course, just practice, practice, practice and uh, play around with it. Uh, make it make it yours, add your own little spice, your little flair and turn it into a cool trick that you can impress everyone with. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you again very soon on the next FPV flight tutorial.